Jimmy Garoppolo topic. What is the team most likely to trade for him? I think most people think it's Pittsburgh. I have a lot of respect for Pittsburgh as, as an organization. I just can't see them doing this. But maybe it is. I don't know. I don't. What do you think, man? I think Washington Commanders. When, okay. when, you, when you look okay. at their situation okay. and Ron Rivera at quarterback, I mean, at coach, excuse me. Yeah. He's in the yeah. third year. You know, now the pressure is on to win and win now. you got to make a playoff run if you have any opportunity of kind of keeping your job. So yeah. I think the Commanders make a ton of sense. Uh, maybe not their first round pick. I've seen, you know, turn around, but potentially, you know, a day two type pick to land a quarterback mm -hmm. that can, you know can uh, help you win games and potentially go to the playoffs. I think mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense for them. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, I'm thinking a team that trades for Jimmy Garoppolo is going to not, is going to decide, I don't want to draft a quarterback this year. I don't think you can do both because that's two, two draft picks, at least two draft picks that you're dedicating to quarterbacks in the same draft. That's rich. So, Washington can say we have Taylor Heineke. We don't necessarily want to draft a quarterback in round one or round two this year because what they're at eleven. You shouldn't draft a quarterback there. That's too high. No, this year. no, no, you no, draft no, no, no. In the second yeah, round, and maybe you don't like Sam Howell or whatever. Like whatever, we'll just get Jimmy. That's possible. Another team. Would I'm you thinking, rather, if you're a yeah. team, you know, and I'm just hypothetically speaking, I'm I'm pretty sure you'd rather say, you know what, at pick eleven, I'm going to go Derek Stingley or Sauce Gardner, right. and or an edge rusher because this is a deep edge rusher class. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with one of these more, or let's say Washington, they yeah. need a receiver opposite right. Terry McLaurin. All right. We're yeah. going to go with, um, I don't know any of these top receivers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chris Olave yeah. or Traylon Burks. And yeah. then second, with well, my second round pick, I get Jimmy Garoppolo. I think your mm -hmm. team is better for that than especially reaching for a quarterback at pick 11. Yeah, what I would do though is set, is not trade for Jimmy. I would just draft whatever quarterback's available with my, the fiftieth pick in round two. That's dead if you're Washington. Remember, yeah, they can't afford a lot. Ron Rivera is out of here if they have a losing. No, no, no. Season. What I would do is I would sign the starter. It would be Winston Trubisky, and I know like you feel well. If we have Jimmy, we're gonna win because I don't I don't believe that the, the Jimmy's a special winner. I think he's brittle, and if you if you trade for him. He's going to be hurt probably by week five, and you're going to be back on the hot seat, and you're going to say, man, that plan seemed so good until Jimmy got hurt. I'm just saying, sign sign the freaking bridge quarterback. Draft whoever's available with the 50th pick in round two. I mean, unless you really hate Carson Strong or Sam Howell or whoever those guys are. It seems like they're decent prospects, but not necessarily franchise guys. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I, I, I think this is a – an all-in type situation is like mm -hmm. you, you got to win. I'm not risking the future of my coaching job on a rookie. I'd rather risk it on the health of Jimmy Garoppolo because if he does stay healthy, I know I potentially will be in the playoffs as opposed to a rookie quarterback, which probably was, you know, the thought process with Kyle Shanahan last year, not going with the rookie, staying with Jimmy, who, yeah. you know, Kyle was on the verge of one winning season in five years. Coaches don't want that. Let me give you two more teams that I think might fit. Um, I don't think Pittsburgh would do this. Although I've heard a lot of people say they're a perfect fit. Um, Houston. Houston has Davis Mills. They may never they may never have looked at him as their starter, even though I like Davis Mills. Maybe they feel if they can't work it out with Deshaun Watson, bring in Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, that's a starting quarterback, and they can give Davis Mills time to to be because he's not ready. He's not ready yet. Or Philly. I've heard Philly's interested, and it makes sense because maybe they feel Jalen Hurts isn't ready and they'd like to, you know. I have no idea, but it seems like it's got to be a team that's saying we're not drafting a quarterback this year. We don't like this crop. We're going to pass on it entirely. But I, I think that's it's a risky plan, man. That's what Indianapolis and Carolina tried last year, and it didn't work for either one. Now let's just get the let's get Sam Darnold. Oh yeah, right. no, nah, you should have just gotten freaking Kyle Trask or anyone other than that. That's how I feel. Yeah, I, 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 it's not a strong class to have to draft a quarterback. If any of them could and could. Risk having a down year is probably Pittsburgh. I mean, they've never had a losing season with Mike Tomlin. So he, at the very least, has a little leeway or uh, he'll get the benefit of the doubt that he'll get the most out of whatever he has at quarterback and still have a solid season. Yeah, exactly. The one thing with Pittsburgh, everyone's like, well, they, you know, Jimmy will take him to the playoffs. They get to the playoffs regardless. They get to the playoffs with Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph. They need, <laughs> they need someone to take them the next step and it's, I don't think Jimmy's ready, man. Maybe next year, but I don't think Jimmy's ready. Scotty says A Rod bankrupt in Green Bay. So PSJ to Denver. Porn star Jimmy to Denver. Says Scotty. Denver doesn't want him. They don't think that he's, or I listened to uh, Benjamin Albright 
Yeah. And he's pretty tapped in with everything that goes on with the Broncos. Said he's not enough of an upgrade over guys like Teddy Bridgewater to trade assets to bring in Jimmy Garoppolo. 